Welcome to the On Home and Office podcast, featuring technology tips from experts in home and office computing. You can access related resources, recommended reading, special offers, and more when you visit the On Home and Office Resource Center at informit.com slash home and office center. Hello, I'm Michael Miller, and this is Lesson 3, Navigating Facebook, where we're going to learn how to get around the Facebook site. And let's start on the Facebook.com page uh, before you sign in. If you're not signed in yet, you see this particular page. Go to the upper right-hand corner, enter your email address, enter your password. Uh, if you want to be logged in uh, for the rest of the day, click the Keep Me Logged In option, and then click the Login button. This will uh, bring you into the Facebook site and dump you on the home page. Uh, and once you're logged in and you do Facebook.com, you, you go right to the home page. Now, at the top of every page, you've got a series of tabs. And, of course, the first page here is the home tab. This displays your news feed or your live feed, which are all your friends' status updates. If you click the profile tab, you're taken directly to your own personal profile page where uh, you can basically, it's your home page on Facebook. When you click the Friends tab, you've got a sub-menu that pulls down so you can see recently added friends, all your friends, you can even invite and find friends, or um, just by selecting an option from the menu. Or if you just click the Friends tab itself, forget the menu items, you go right to this particular Friends page where you can find uh, friends that you want to add to your friends list. There's a lot you can do on this page also. If you go back up to the tab list, we have the Inbox tab. Now, this has to do with Facebook's email system. You can select any option off the submenu or just click the Inbox tab and you see your Facebook email inbox, just like this with all your messages in it. These tabs are on the left side of the page. On the right side of the page, we've got some more tabs. You've got a tab with your name on it, which kind of duplicates the profile tab. It takes you to your own personal profile. The settings tab gives you a pull-down menu of various types of settings, account settings, privacy settings, application settings, even the help option to access Facebook's help menu. If you just select the tab itself, however, just selecting the settings tab, you are taken to the uh, general my account page, which is where you can access all of those settings by selecting the sub tabs on this particular page. Now, if we go back up to the right hand corner, we see the last tab is log out, which really isn't a tab, it is a control. You click this and you will log out of Facebook. To the right of that is a search box. So if you want to search for your friends or search for anyone on Facebook, just start entering a person's name into the box. And as you can see, Facebook displays a list of people who match that list. So you don't even have to type the full name, which is nice. Or you can enter the full name and click the search button. Now those were the controls at the top of the page. At the bottom of every page you've got this little toolbar, a uh, command bar, which has a lot more buttons on it. And we'll start with the Applications button. Now when you click this button, you access all the applications that you're using within Facebook. These include Facebook applications, such as video or photos, as well as third-party applications like Living Social and the various games that you can play on Facebook. So you want to know how to get to the games and, and all those applications you use, just click the Applications applications button and select the application from the menu. You can delete items from this menu by clicking the X to the right. Uh, as you can see when you select something there's an X that shows up. You can also drag and drop items into a new order. So if you don't like the order that things are in just drag them with your mouse, drag the icon with your mouse, drag it into a new uh, to a new position. You can edit applications. You can even browse more applications that, that you haven't subscribed to yet just by selecting the menu options. To the right of this is a button called Groups. Now this is where you can access any groups that you might be subscribed to, as well as groups that your friends have recently joined. Your groups are on the right, your friends' groups are on the left. Uh, you can also, from within this page, search for new groups. So if you're interested in joining a group of any sort, use the Groups button. And uh, again, this is where you access all the groups that you've subscribed to as well. You can even create your own group, which we'll cover in a future lesson just by clicking that button. 
Back down to the bottom, we have the events button. And this is where you access any events that you have subscribed to or, um, or that uh, you can use this even to create your own new events, as well as your friends' events, uh, birthdays you access from this page right from the events button. To the right of that is the button to the Facebook Marketplace. Uh, click this button and you can begin buying and selling items uh, to and from other Facebook users. We'll talk about Facebook Marketplace in a future lesson, but basically you have items for sale. Uh, you can post your own items for sale. There's housing, uh, vehicles for sale, job listings, uh, all within the Facebook community. Uh, so it's not an auction format. It's really like an online classified site. The Photos button takes you to a page not with your photos on it, but with your friends' photos. So you get to see all of the, the recent albums and uploads uh, that your friends have made to their photo albums, which is a kind of neat thing. Uh, you can, however, click uh, the, the links up here to view your photos or photos that include you, but uh, what you see to begin with are your friends' photos. To the right of that is the links button, and this shows you a page of web links that your friends have uploaded. Uh, so if a friend is linked to a website of some sort, uh, the most recent ones will be listed here. You can also use this page to view links that you've posted by clicking My Links up at the top, or even to post your own link by entering it on the right-hand column. Now, any other application that you're using may put its own button on, on this tab also. For example, I use the We Read application for books, and it adds a button for that. So if you see some additional buttons down there, that's what they're for. Now scroll over to the right, and on the right-hand side of the bottom, we have the chat button. This opens up a list of people who are currently online, of your friends who are currently online. You can click any of these names to begin a one-on-one -on -one instant messaging chat with them. And our final button is notifications. And this is important because you might see some numbers here. If you've got email waiting or notifications or whatnot, it's going to be listed here, and uh, you're going to see the, the list of notifications right here on this submenu. If you want to see more notifications, past notifications, click the See All link. And from here, you're taken to a page which lists uh, all your notifications, and you can even scroll down and view older notifications. They're listed in reverse chronological order, as most things are on Facebook. Notifications can be minor. They can be important. Messages from Facebook or messages from the applications that you use. And that's kind of how you get around the Facebook site. Uh, we come back to our home page here. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to do. You're going to see these tabs at the top of every page. You're going to see that command bar at the bottom of every page. So just know that you've got to click the right button to go to the right place. And if you're ever in doubt on those buttons on the bottom, just hover over the top and you'll see what they do. We'll learn more Thanks in some later podcasting. lessons. Thanks for watching. Remember to visit the On Home and Office Resource Center where you can access recommended reading, special offers, and more at informit.com slash home and office center. Be sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single episode. Brought to you by InformIT, the trusted technology learning source.